What's going on guys? One love out to everybody. We got UFC Fight Night. Tasha Rukin versus Gamarot. Predictions here guys. Not much breakdown. I'm going to fly through this. This card is going to start at 7 p.m. It's going to be at the apex. It's going to be a smaller cage. Let's jump into this real quick guys. First fight here we got Jin Yu Frey versus Vanessa Demopoulos. Um, man, this one is a... Uh, a tricky one here, man. You can go either way, to be honest with you guys. Um, <sighs> John Frey may have the better strike in here. Vanessa gonna have the better ground game, but Fry would slow down in the fight. Uh, you can go either way, man. 50 50, but I'm, I'm gonna go with Vanessa for the win here, guys. And I'm gonna say Vanessa by decision, but I'm not confident. All right. Next fight, we got Mario Batista versus Brian Keller. Um, I'm going to go with Batista here. Brand more experienced guy here, but I feel Batista going to have the reach advantage, I believe, and the height, and I feel like he's just a quicker fighter here. But again, Keller is more experienced, so be careful, and he has that guillotine choke. So, can go either way too, but I'm going to go with um, Batista by Kyo Tikio in the second round, guys. All right? We got Cody Durden versus JP Bice. Um... I'm going to go with Durden here, man. JP Baez just hasn't been looking good. I mean, Cody, I mean, Cody has his up and down, but at least, you know, he's winning fights here and there. I'm going to go with Durden by Kyo Tikyo, guys. Second round, not confident. We got Rulen Pavel versus Sergey Marozov. Um, I feel Sergey probably more technical striker here, but he does slow down, and he kind of gets into brawls at times, which kind of fit the way how Rulen strikes. You know, he just comes in the middle and just throws down. I feel Roland pack a little power during the punches too. Um, I'm gonna go with Ruli and Pava here. I'm gonna say Ruli and Pava by decision, but I'm not confident, guys. All right. TJ Brown versus Shailen New Um It's the next tricky one here with Shailen here. We'll go for takedown, suplex, pretty gritty on the ground. TJ Brown is not bad on the ground either, but he can get some mated. Uh, even fight, man, to be honest with you guys. This one is, a lot of these fights are even, man. can go either way, but I'm going to go TJ Brown by decision. Not confident. Toflon Tuichiki versus Carlos Uhlberg. I know I mispronounced his last name there. Nui Um I'm, I'm liking Carlos here, man. Um, I feel Carlos is going to be the quicker fighter here, the way quicker guy. Um more accurate with the striking so I'm going with Carlos and this fight going to be more a stand-up fight because Taflon mostly look for striking and Carlos is you know is um Izzy's friend you know they, they train together in the kickboxing so uh, I'm liking Carlos here. I'm going to say Carlos by decision guys all right next fight we got Curtis Curtis we got Chris Curtis versus Rodolfo Vera um Rodolfo Vera you know is going to go for the submission and dangerous on the ground Chris Curtis is very experienced though in MMA. It's different, you know. When you're mixing it up, yeah, you have good Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but, you know, if you can't really get the guys to the ground because the guy is just experienced in defending takedowns and defending the submissions, it's going to be a problem. And Chris Curtis is, is he's actually good with the boxing, man. His, his hands, his counters, punching power, you know, is very precise. Um, I mean, he could submit Curtis, man. I mean, but I'm, I'm liking Curtis here. I'm going to say Chris Curtis by QOTQ in the first round, guys. All right. We got Umar Nurmagomedov versus Nate Mattis. I'm kind of high on Umar here. I'm liking Umar. It's a confident pick. I'm going to say Umar by... Uh, I'm going to say Umar by decision, but Nate Mattis is not a bad fighter, but I'm, I'm kind of high on Umar. So Umar by decision, and I'm confident. Uh, we got Tiago Moyes versus Kurt... Um, Kurt Christos Gagos, sorry guys. Um, Christos Gagos is a pretty um, experienced guy, man. You can say he's a veteran. Tiago Mas is not bad either. This fact, no, either way, I could see Gagos getting a win here. But I'm going to push towards Tiago Mars here. I'm going to say Tiago Mars by submission in the second round, guys. All right? We got Josh Parzin versus Alan Budat. Um, what I see from Alan Budat is just, I don't know, he's just, he's not, he doesn't do much, you know. He... I mean, every fighter, you know, you know, they have their skills, the techniques, but I just don't see enough from him. So I'm going to go with Josh Parson here. I'm going to say Josh Parson by um, K.O. Tikio in the first round, guys. We got Neil Magny versus Zapkot Ragamanov. <laughs> the end his names are tough. Um, I'm high on Zakrat, man. And Zafkat, I'm, I'm high on him, man. This guy's a very good fighter, man. Neil Magny is a good fighter, too. 
but Zach Cat is, is man he's good everywhere man and Neil Magny is good everywhere too but I'm gonna go with Zach Cat here I'm gonna say Zav Cat by KOTQ in the first one I'm confident in that play that's my second confident play there next fight to the main fight in the card we got Amarn Tosharukin versus Matos Gamrot um, kind of back and forward. I can see Gamma again a win here, but I see that I can see the wrestling from Armoren just gonna push that high pace. And Armoren faced tougher competitions, man. Um, even um, his opponent here is like Mikachev, who's like you know, he's, he's a pretty tough guy to beat, man. And um, yeah, he even to decision with him, and you no, know, just, just other guys he's faced, he's faced tougher competition. You know, he, um, Mavrola, Davi Ramos, Curtis Jacos, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so it's a little tougher competition here, but again, it's a close fight. But I'm going to go with Amron here. Um, I like Amron, Tashirukin for the win. So Amron by decision, guys. All right. Um, quick look at the odds here. So we're working with just flying through these real quick, guys. Five start at seven, but we're kind of early still. Um, <laughs> uh, um, let me see the odds here. See what we're working with. John Fry and oh man, Vanessa Demolopoulos. Damn, Fry is too freaking high, dude. No way. I mean, I have Vanessa winning the fight, but again, it, I, I kind of had Fry winning too, but I went back and forth on it. But I picked Vanessa, but Fry is too high, man. No, 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 no. This fight is an even fight, in my as I said, 50 50 was an even fight. And to have Fry at 200, you better be freaking careful with that one. <sighs> I, I have Vanessa winning, but again, can go either way, guys. Brian Kelleher, Brian, uh, Mario Batista. They got Brian Kelleher as an underdog here. Uh, be careful with this one. I say this fight is a very close to even fight. I edge it to Batista a little bit because Batista's speed advantage. And he just has the tools to win. You know, the wrestling and the striking is pretty accurate. I think he has a reach advantage. Um... Be careful with this one, man. It's a kind of close fight because Brian Keller is experienced. So be careful. Cody Durden, Cody Durden and JP Bice, even fight. I don't disagree. I mean, I see Cody Durden winning, but you never know. JP may get a submission in this, this possibility because Cody Durden has been submitted a couple of times. And JP Bice is more known for taking the fight to go and submit him. So submission chances there. So it's an even fight. I don't disagree. Sergey Marzov versus Rulian Pavel. Um, they got Sergey's favorite here. Um, I say this fight is an even fight, guys. I could see Ruland winning, and I have Ruland winning the fight. But again, Sergey could get a win. So you know, either way, but the way how Sergey strikes, he's technical, but he does get in the brawls, which favor Ruland. So I like Ruland, but uh, be careful. Um, Shailen and TJ Brown. TJ Brown is 200 and something. I disagree with that. I mean, this fight is the next even fight, too, man. I mean, Shailen is not a bad fighter, man. TJ Brown being 200, I'll be careful with that one, man. This is a close fight, you know, because Shulin and TJ Brown is kind of similar. Striking, heavy strikes with wrestling, kind of similar, you know. And for TJ Brown to be so high, does it make sense to me? It's a close fight. Be careful. I have TJ Brown, though. Taflon and Carlos Umberg. They got Taflon as 140, his favorite? I disagree. I think Carlos is a better striker here. This fight is going to be a striking fight because Taflon doesn't really go for takedowns like that. Um... Yeah, so it's a close fight, you know, but uh, I favor Carlos, so be careful with that one. Chris Curtis and Vera, even the close fight, I don't disagree. Vera could get a submission, but the more well-rounded guy here, in my opinion, is Chris Curtis, more experienced guy too. As far as MMA, if it's Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu on the mat, it would be Vera, but it's not Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. It's all around, mixture of every technique, you know, striking, elbows, Muay Thai, karate, boxing, the ground, wrestling, you know. That's why Vera lost... To it to um Anthony Hernandez because well roundedness. Anthony Hernandez is a blue more well rounded. And he submitted him. See the difference is the, the MMA cage grappling is kinda different than when you're grappling a grappling um championship in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu on the mat. It's two different type of, 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 of games you're playing there. You're just focusing on one aspect. When you're getting punched and kicked and you're getting taking wrestling down, you get back up, down, up, 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 kinda gases you out. And, and you just, you know, you just unable to pull off what you know because you're tired. And once you start gassing out, everything goes out the window, man. Um, yeah, so it's a close one. I don't disagree, but I like Chris Curtis. So he's a small favorite. Nate Manis, Umar. Umar, pff, 950. I don't disagree. I mean, I'm high on Umar. So, yeah. 
Chris Gagos, Thiago Maas, I got Thiago Maas at 250, Gagos, uh, I think Thiago Maas is a little too high, this is a kind of a closer fight, edge it to Maas a little bit, but still a little too high, man, because Gagos is not a bad fighter, he's a veteran, and he knows how to win fights, so be careful with this one too, guys, Alan Buddett and Parzin, I'm Parisian, this is a close fight, even, as you can see here, so I don't disagree, but I like him Parisian though, Neil Magny and Savakot, Savakot is a high favorite here, I don't disagree, I'm high on Savakot. The Elman is a good fighter and he knows how to win fights, but Savakat is just he's a freaking good prospect, man. He's good everywhere and he's and he's proven it. So shows it. So I don't disagree with the odds in here. Um Gamrot so, is an underdog here, Armin 265. I think Armin is a little bit too high because Gamrot is not a bad fighter. But I can see Armin pulling off this window with just the grindy wrestling, man. He just faced tougher competitions too, man. Alright, so those are my odd breakdowns that that's my prediction. I will leave everything down below. Um, <clears throat> respect to all the guys that donated to the channel, to my Patreon account. There's a couple of guys who did. I really respect that. I will leave the link down below. I had to update the link because some you know guys said that the link wasn't working, which I changed it. So I respect you know all the love, you know what I'm saying, all the on all of the donations you guys have been given. So um, I will make more video, try to get this video a little bit earlier to you guys. I want to look out to everybody. You guys keep on kicking and we'll see.